So I want to start with this news of the day. I mean, we've been talking about the um, adoption and implementation of automation in fast food for quite a number of years now, but it's been pretty slow going so far. Today, you're announcing that you're working with Miso Robotics uh, on robots that are going to basically be able to grill and fry food in the restaurants. Tell us about this pilot project, how long it's been in the works, and what you expect in terms of increased productivity. So we've been talking with Miso Robotics for about a year. They've been a great partner to work with, and we're excited to have Flippy, their robot that will help us on the fryer area, make that more efficient and uh, more uh, get a lot more throughput through for our team members to serve great tasting products to our customers along with their wonderful sliders. What is this going to do to jobs? We believe that this is a, um, a way for us to enhance the jobs in our castles. So we've introduced over, we've been around for almost 100 years, and over that time we've introduced new griddles, new register systems, uh, Coca-Cola freestyle machines, and all of that, all, through all of that innovation, we've been able to help redeploy our uh, team members to other areas of the castle and allow them to create more memorable moments with our customers. And that's what we see Flippy as not a replacement for our team members, but an enhancement to their jobs that lets them do it better and creates a better experience for our customers. Yeah. And of course, um, this technology comes at a key point, given everything we're seeing with COVID and the need for social distancing and how you navigate the workplace right now in the midst of a pandemic, um, which I think raises the other question, you've got 400 locations around the country right now. Um, we are seeing coronavirus cases increase in, in quite a number of states, and we are seeing some of those reopening efforts rolled back or even frozen right now. How is that affecting the company? So when the pandemic first hit, you know, our first priority has always been our team members. One, we wanted to keep as many people employed as possible. Well, we also wanted to make sure that they all felt safe. So we implemented the proper PPE and um, continue to keep team member safety in mind. So in our dining rooms, actually, we are not open for dine-in service. So, and that's a decision that we made proactively, even though in many of the states that we operate, we are allowed to open. But we felt that um, that was a way to keep our team safe. So they, we actually asked our team, and that was something that they told us that they would like for us to do right now. And I in looking back, that seems like the right decision as cases have continued to rise in many of the cities that are reopening. So our dining rooms are not open for sit down, but you can still come in and get carry out and you can still do drive through and delivery to get the sliders that you love. Got it. Um, and then, of course, we recently had that list released by the government uh, around PPP applicants and, and recipients. It looks like White Castle uh, received money between 5 and $10 million at a time where there, I guess, has been so much scrutiny over larger companies, particularly in the restaurant industry, receiving that funding. Um, why did it make sense for White Castle to do that? And was it actually something that enabled you to preserve and save jobs? So as I said, when the pandemic first hit, um, it was obviously a very big impact to our company with uh, restaurants being shut down across the country. And so we went through and we did massive budget cuts. We um, cut all of our incentive programs. Our executives took massive pay cuts. And um, we really focused on how can we continue to keep as many people employed as possible. So by making all those cuts, that was one way. And then obviously having the opportunity to apply for the PPP loan, that was another way for us to help keep people employed and to keep jobs. And that loan has allowed us to um, pay a griddle gratitude bonus to our hourly team members in the restaurants to thank them for working. It also allowed us to pay premium pay to our team members that work in our plants because we have eight manufacturing plants. So that money was um, very helpful to us to be able to weather this pandemic and come out on the other side. Well, Lisa Ingram, we appreciate you joining us today, CEO of White Castle. Got to say, I love those crinkle-cut fries.